mince pies cooling on a rack, um, you've got carols from kings on the stereo, it's just, it's a lovely time isn't it? Yeah, because in theory everything's done, mm. so it can be a bit about you. Yeah, that's my favourite, and it's time to open a lovely bottle of wine isn't it? Yeah. You can really, if it's just two of you, you can really push the boat out of something a bit lovely. Yeah, because the whole romantic thing's there isn't it? I mean it's a bit like that movie Love Actually, I mean that, that's my Christmas Eve to me, yeah. you know, bustling about, everyone a bit excited. I, I just love that film. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And we found some wines that you're going to love, actually. Right, for our first romantic wine, we've got this um, white. It's called Lourbois, and it's from the Wine Society at $7.95 a bottle. And can you believe it's a bit of lowly vin de France, which is a Table wine. Yeah, basic. Um, Lord Bois is the great writer. It's L apostrophe O R like gold and then Bois like wood. Um, and it's a new one of us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You just don't know quite what to expect. And um, we were very nicely surprised, weren't we? Yeah, and in fact, taste smelling it now here, you know, That's it feels beautiful. It's really lots of aroma from the butter isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Buttery, ripe fruit. Really very, very attractive. Mm. Quite sweet. A little heavy, honeyed, um, rich. Yeah. Yeah. In love, actually, which of the characters would you like to be having a romantic Christmas Eve in for the first time? Oh, I think it would have to be Andrew Lincoln's character. Okay. Because he's quite gorgeous. However, when he gets those signs out in the snow, oh, declaring his that. undying love for oh, Kira Knightley, that. saying, without hope or agenda. I mean, that's a little bit crass. What you don't know <laughs> is that Sandra is word perfect on Love Actually. She's seen it so many times. <laughs> well, it's just a perfect film for a Christmas Eve yeah, watch. Absolutely, absolutely. You see, I go for Liam Neeson. Oh, would you? Why? Because he's so damaged. He just looks like he needs a big hug. And I bet, Mel, you're just the girl to do it, actually. I might be. <laughs> and our second white is the Petaluma Hanlin Hill Claire Valley Riesling. It's the 2008 vintage and this is 10.99 in Waitrose. Now Riesling can be a bit scary as a wine variety. It can, it's yes. Not, it's not necessarily your crowd pleaser like some other grapes. No. But when it's done well and Petaluma is fantastic, yeah. then it's a real treat and give it a go. It, it might be off putting for people to say, oh, doesn't it smell of petrol? But it, it smells of petrol in the most beautiful way, doesn't it? It's yeah. like sort of, if you, if you cut a lime, you squeeze, it's, it's the juice, but it's also the pith, and then there is this petrol smell. Um, this is extraordinary. Really an extraordinary nose, yeah, isn't it? it really is. Really limey, good at Thai food. Mm. And again on the palate. Lovely. That lime really sings out the It is to you. It's bright, sharp, yeah, exciting. Yeah. Like you'd want your conversation to be on your, absolutely. your romantic absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, this wine has the wow. It's alive. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Just delicious. This would add a frisson to your evening, wouldn't it? Actually. Actually it would. Right, for our first red, we've got the Fontana Freda. Barolo, it's the 2006 vintage and it's 19.99 from Sainsbury's. And um, Barolo is in the Piedmont region, the northwest of Italy, and it's made, this is made from 100% Nebbiolo grape. Yeah, and this Barolo, I mean, is just a sexy, sexy wine. It is, isn't it? It is, it really is. It's gorgeous. It's so, it's so aromatic. It, it's just fragrant, it's wood but it's it's just light and 
You get the picture. Mel's lost for words because she just loves Barolo mm. so much. Yeah, we use the, the M&S Barolo for our Valentine's Day programme and it is definitely a wine for sharing with someone special. Yeah, and this isn't going to sound good but Nevia no, has a little kind of tarry note about it, doesn't yeah. it? And you can just get a little nuance of that. Yeah, but it's also got roses and violets and, and, and pretty things as well as a sort of black tarry thing. It's oh. perfect, isn't it? And it's it nineteen ninety nine, which is a lot of money, but it's a romantic evening in. Um, yeah. There's only two of you. Yeah, and if you were going out somewhere, you could quite easily spend that in your local I'll restaurant. I'll spend it Yes, it is. It's it's yeah. Yeah. But think about it: house wine, local Italian. Yeah, you quite easily. Nineteen ninety nine is not one. Mm. Yeah, and this is sensual. It's aromatic. It's the perfect setting with your. Candles lingering over yeah. a lovely glass of wine, Just chatting away casually, mellowing out, a bit of music on the stereo. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, the um, actually the love actually um, soundtrack's pretty brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, very romantic. Right for our last wine, we've got Cresto Superior. It's the 2009 vintage, and this one's available from Slurp.co.uk and it's 1525 a bottle and it comes from the Douro. And the Douro is the um, Portuguese wine region that port is made in. And this is made using the port, the same port grapes. There are a lot of port grapes, um, but this is using a handful of them. It's quite a heavy bottle that one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this is a whole different wine. This is isn't absolutely. It? This is this is a macho meaty. Yeah, you can tell one. just by putting your nose into this. Oh, and look at the colour on it. I mean, it's a very very black inky yeah, colour. It is. It's just a rich. It is meaty, isn't it? Mm. Really lovely. Mm. Wow. Massive. It's massive. Massive, rich, but fresh. So it's it's quite fruit driven. It's not oaky at all, is it? No. Um, and just when you you think it's all fruit, you just get this hit of mocha right on the end of there it. There is, yeah. Yeah, you don't need to have your coffee at the end of the evening if you've got a glass of no. it. Because it's just there, isn't it? This is more, if you were going back to Love Actually, yeah. this is more Liam Neeson than, say, Hugh Grant. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it definitely. I love Hugh Grant in that film. You know when he does jump, when he dances to jump at no, in number 10, he's sort of mincing around number 10 doing all these funny little yeah, dance Yeah, but he looks a bit of a nerd, doesn't he? He's yeah. certainly not sexy oh, when God, he's no. doing that, is he? No, nowhere near sexy, but, but it's funny, you know, yeah. funny can be sexy. Yeah, I guess so, I guess so. This is just lovely. It's fabulous, isn't it? As yeah. all our wines have been yeah, tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you, with these wines, your romantic evening in is absolutely sure to have a happy ending. And perhaps love actually yeah <laughs> so happy christmas happy christmas and see you next week see you next week <laughs>